Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode, episode of, of the Side Project, Project Podcast. Podcast. Boom. Boom. Hey, our boy Roger is here. What for up, those man? that can see, can clearly see him. But for those that are listening, our boy Roger is here. Yes, um, he's been here a couple times. He's been here. This is episode yeah, he, uh, 17. He's, he's been on a couple for episodes. The, for like, the most part, yeah. also, drop, like he's always just with us when we're filming in general. Yeah. And then yeah. like, he like throws in his little cues here and there. Uh, he nods his on... head. He's infamous for going... Oh, the head nod, right? We yeah. were talking about... Yeah, see, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Man, how's your uh, week, weekend, or whatever you want to... Uh, good. You know, I, mean, say, I mean, yeah. It's, it's Honestly, it doesn't really change much outside of playing games and stuff like that, but yep. I've been working a lot, you know, so mm. it's the same thing. I ended up picking up... doing overtime, like, right? Yeah, I picked up mm-hmm. a graveyard shift, so that was that was a little intense because my body was, like, thrown off. I'm not used to yeah. it. Yeah, getting that money so we can hit up all these conventions, huh? Uh yeah, something hey, like that. Something hey, like that. Hey. <laughs> How you been, man? I've been good. Just it's been same a while way. since you've actually been on like yeah, sitting at the table with us, mic'd up and everything. Usually you're on the couch just saying a couple things here and there. It's not in my head, like yeah, on, the, on the little casting couch. On the casting, <laughs> on the casting couch. couch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you been playing anything or you watching anything interesting lately? Um, started watching this uh, show on Amazon, Hunters. I'm like two Hunters. episodes I, in. I, I've, heard about, what, uh, I've heard about it. One of my one of my boys from work actually was watching it, uh, and he told me, he said, man, you got to check it out. I was like, yeah, I don't got it's, it's pretty cool. It's gonna... basically they're hunting Nazis after oh, the nice. war. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Is Hitler so, in it? I'm being serious. I, well, I'm is... only two episodes in oh, so okay. far. Because so. the minute you start bringing up Hitler, people like laugh or they go, whoa, hey, hey, hey Sensitive subject. Well, the, hey, the, the first, unlocked, just in case the very first episode... It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Like just the opening itself. And it's all with that. Pacino, you said, right? Yeah, Pacino. Yeah, I think I've I think I've seen it, but uh, I I've mean, not watched it, but I think I've seen like you know. What he I mean? showed me a clip of it, but he didn't want you know to show me. I think he I didn't want to show me too much because he's like, "Oh, mm-hmm. dude, you're gonna want to see this like from beginning to end. It's not. Don't mm-hmm. don't spoil anything for yourself." I it's Pacino has long slick back. Yeah. Hair, right. Okay. Yeah, I've seen the trailer. I think I've seen the trailer. And the first one was like a movie. It's like an hour and twenty maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it has they to be a good. They do that sometimes. Has to be a good introduction, right? Yeah, man. I'm uh. Man, my anxiety has been through the roof the last couple of days. I, I don't even know why. I have no reason for it. Um, so excuse me, you guys, if I'm if my energy is down today. It's been a really poor two days for me of anxiety, insomnia. So I'm just, I, it's burning me out. You know what I mean? I haven't slept very well. It's been a while too, right? Before this happened yeah, last man, time, you went like almost like a month, two months without. Yeah, like, you're, man, you're it's been it's be been okay. pretty good. I was doing really good. I was really happy, man. I was really happy that I hadn't had. And if I had had some like uh, anxiety troubles or anything, I've done things to cool uh, yourself calm off. it down. Yeah, like I've been, I mean, I always smoke weed, but obviously that's, yeah. a, that's always a good one, you know? Yeah. Uh, although sometimes it can have that reverse effect where yeah. it makes that you more paranoid, paranoid and then it increases the anxiety for someone like me. It's horrible. That's yeah. why I do not smoke sativas. We don't talk about cannabis enough on the show. And it's not it's not because it's legal here where we live, yeah. so it's yeah. not a big yeah. deal. I mean, actually, honest, to be honest with you, it's, it's almost legal in more states, places yeah. than it yeah. is not now, especially yeah. in, in America. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we come from all of us. We come from a deep uh, history in the canna- cannabis industry having shops and having worked together. That's actually how we all met for the, yeah. I think we've, we've briefly talked about it before, but we've I never to, gone in I depth. I used to work uh, at the first shop that I ever ran into you guys with was, yeah. uh, I used to work across street at McDonald's. And I think I brought it up before where I used to cross it was like street. like 10 used plus to years ago. Buy edibles and stuff. And yeah. Then eat them and then, and then go and walk. Work. Yeah. I was flipping nuggets, man. Yeah. I was flipping those burgers, dude. Well, what they call burgers, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless, dude, like that's, that's how we met, dude. And yeah. I've always had a passion for it. I think things just for me kind of. Yeah. And we're not, for those that, that may have a bad st- uh, stigma about, about cannabis and everything we're not like those those stoners that paint a bad picture for the industry and for the yeah. community as a whole i mean we we could smoke and function we make jokes yeah. about it i make jokes about it on the show like the last episode i made a joke about roger smoking yeah. i don't know if you watched the whole episode and you saw it yeah but it. yeah you know but we joke about it we just we just like to have fun but in all seriousness man cannabis is actually and i'm going off script of like yeah. topics that we were going to talk about today but that's fine um Cannabis is, is, is really is really healing, man. You know, I mean, for people like myself that suffer from anxiety, insomnia, sometimes I'll just get, I mean, I'm being dead serious. Some, sometimes I'll get like stoned out of my mind. Or it's just too much just, for you? No, 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 no. I'm saying so I can f- like relax, mm. you know what I mean? So I can calm down, so I can hopefully sleep. And as of late, bringing it back to what we were discussing, as of late, I've been doing that, um, smoking heavily and, and mm. feeling really good, man. And uh, these last two days, something just 
You know what I mean? Something crept up and, yeah, and I'm but having th- trouble think, to uh, get a hold of it, I man. Think, I think we spoke about it briefly off camera, too, was uh, that I've noticed that it gets triggered around high stress times. Yeah. Or, uh, uh, again, like last time we were talking about it and mm-hmm. then you got to talking about it and that yeah. kind of itself was a trigger. That's what I was going to say. So, like, sometimes it helps. And the reason I'm talking about this is because there may be people out there watching. And, in fact, I know there are uh, personally I've spoken mm-hmm. to them outside of, of the podcast and, and DMing me when we did the episode about anxiety. Mm-hmm. So I know that there's people out there watching right this moment that suffer from things that I suffer from. So um, speaking to you guys, you know, um, oh, don't you hate that when you lose your train of thought? Because <laughs> you yeah. smoke? Uh, <laughs> just man, what, what was I saying? I, I um, damn, I hate when you lose your train of thought that hard. That's fine. Uh, so for me, as far as uh, late, nah, like all, all jokes aside, for me, it's been yeah, more say, so. Let me try the, to remember. You, you say for, something. For me, it's been a lot more of the CBD use. I haven't really, I haven't smoked like in a really long time. I haven't mm-hmm. gotten high in general in a long time. But mm-hmm. I, you know, from it came like CBD and everything. And that's, I found a lot of the, ba- like I burned myself earlier. Like I was telling you, yeah. I put some CBD on it and it's like, it helps me out. There's the there's CBD. So much, uh, it's really good for There's me. so the much. CBD yeah, uh, bomb, right? Bomb, the yeah. one that you have For people your, that don't know that we, we have. Uh, like, like I said, we have a very, very strong history in in the cannabis industry. So I mean, we have we have a lot from CBD mm. products to tinctures to, uh, to 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 bombs and to all kinds of stuff, man. So we, you know, to being able to, to inhale and smoke the CBD as well, and it does yeah. have a lot of relaxing relaxing effects. Like I take the CBD tinctures, I smoke the CBD. I obviously smoke THC as well, mm. and uh, just a lot of things, and they're they're really helping me. But this uh, I don't know what my original point yeah. was, so but just but it's been it's been a rough by a rough couple of days for me, man. Uh, again, keep in mind too, by no means are we claiming to be any kind of a medical professionals at all. No, it's just no, no. We're, yeah. we're we're speaking, speaking solely from a personal yeah. experience and what we've dealt with. Yeah, um, like I said, CBD has helped me I, tremendously. Honestly, it's been a it's good like it's a good recovery for when like you work out a lot. Yes, I know I don't. Yeah, I, don't I know I don't. A always, lot of MMA fighters. I know yeah. I don't always. You know, look yeah, like a lot of athletes in general. But yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of athletes. Yeah. yeah, it's it's real good, man. I like it, and I I think that you should be able to enjoy both sides of it. If mm-hmm. you truly got some issues and are going through some stuff, yeah, maybe you don't need to be going like high off the rails type of thing, mm-hmm. and just get more of the medicinal benefits from it, which yeah. would be using the CBD and all that. But I mean, to each his own, whatever you want to do. But like I said, it, it's. It's really helpful and it has been helpful for me. A yeah. uh, big issue came from it was that it was being categorized with like the high, drugs. high hanging, hanging drugs. drugs. Yes. It was getting, and if I'm not false, mistaken, it's false information. Yeah, man. if I'm not mistaken, mm-hmm. it was getting labeled with like up there with like heroin, cocaine, yeah. speed, all schedule that. One. Yeah, it's, yeah. A ske- it's a schedule one. It's a schedule one. It's not, false. For I mean, it's still time. a schedule one federally, isn't it? Federally, I think federally, so. Yeah. 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 But see, that's the point though. Which is something I didn't, I don't know if you guys know this. I don't even remember if I spoke to you guys about it uh, off camera, but mm. did you guys know that when here in California, when they finally decriminalized it, legalized mm-hmm. it, whatever you want to say, that you can it. fly with it at LAX. Well, well, you also. You can, I read no, the whole article. Time out. I read so, the props and for, the numbers from, and everything. From what I've understand, from what I've work, seen, though? because you no, can take I've it with seen... you, carry on and stow away. Time out though. It's no because, longer a problem. But you know what though? I've known a number of people that genuinely tried, and it within the on, last two years because yeah, that yeah. that law, it's a law. It no, was passed in 2018. So there was a number. January of 2018. There's a number of people that tried to do it after the time after everything was legal, good for mm-hmm. you to go. It depends on your destination that you're traveling to oh, and course. their laws. Yes. Uh, and it depends the amount that you're also carrying mm-hmm. because. The person that I followed yes, her was course. looking Just at the same she thing with had, driving. There's an amount. Yeah. She had, I believe, what it was, not it was barely like an ounce and like an eighth probably on top of it. You should be able to fly with and that. And she, they made her toss it out. They well, I mean, toss it out. even even in even in the past, I've flown with CBD products and THC mm-hmm. products. I've never flown with actual flowers before. Yeah. And I was going to New York. Where it's, it's not ba- legal, but yeah. it just barely decriminalized yeah. there, but it's still super. Well, at the time that you, not like at us the time, here in California, at the time that dude, you went, know? it wasn't technically legal. No, at the time that I went, all the yeah. times that I've gone, it's it it wasn't decriminalized in New York. Mm-hmm. But I've flown with CBD products, THC products, not flowers though. Um, yeah, pills, oils, yeah, and uh, vapes and and carts and things like that. And uh, every time they've gone through my stuff, they uh, you can tell, you know what I mean? They've mm-hmm. opened it, they checked it, and put it right back. Yeah, there was a video that was going around. I don't remember when within this last year mm. where maybe even within the last six months where a guy was uh, being detained by TSA and they were going through his stuff because, you know, sometimes stuff comes up on the X-ray yeah, or yeah. whatever it's called. Which you should know because you used to do that for a yeah, while. Too, right? Right. Yeah. Oh, is that that's what you did? Yeah. I didn't know you actually well, did, he did that. He did, he did security and then he did some of the screening for packages. Oh, I didn't know, I didn't know you did yeah, the screenings. Yeah. Uh, so 
he got caught with something or not caught, but they wanted to look through his stuff. Yeah. They thought they saw something. Nothing ended up happening. The guy's fine. And there was nothing actually there. I think it was just like the shape of something that he had. Yeah. You know what I mean? Probably looked like um, something. Yeah. So anyway, they were going through stuff and then they pulled out a bunch of marijuana, like actual flowers. Mm -hmm. And the lady, you see the lady, I'm going to use this and, yeah. and your phone, right? She pulls out the canister of whatever it is, you know, and, and just goes like this. She's like, mm -hmm. You know, and then a baggie, I, and you she's know like, what? you know what? And she's think? going through it, and he's on camera filming it, and he goes, "Whoa, whoa wait a minute, wait a minute, you guys don't care about cannabis?" She's like, she goes yeah, like this. She see, literally goes, <laughs> "But see, that's the last thing uh, we care about." Yeah, but and see, he again, goes, "Good to know." Again, see, you good know what? to know. Again, though, I think that's the issue right there, though, is that because I, I know in that instance that person probably wasn't doing it to get like. Uh, <laughs> I hate to use like the word like clout and fame and all that type of thing. No, he was just but filming just to yeah. film TSA um, going through his stuff. There's been a number of idiots that have videos have been circulating. Same thing. Like, oh man, I got that loud on me. I got this on me. And like they do it on purpose. Stuff. But they yeah. probably have other and then, stuff on and them too. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. a separate issue. But it'll be it'll be just that. They'll be talking shit and antagonizing them, yeah. you know? Yeah. And of course, you're gonna antagonize somebody. They're gonna they're gonna flip out. Yeah. Which I mean, I guess it kinda since we're talking about it, this kind of works out. Uh, I, you know, the rapper, the baby, or whatever. Stupid his name stuff is. at airport is what, yeah. what we're segueing this into. Yeah. Which is actually a pretty good transition considering that some <laughs> of our transitions have been like. Have <laughs> been from like Disney yeah. to this to that. Yeah. So, so uh, we're going to play this video. It's of the rapper. Uh, again, we're describing for the listeners. Mm -hmm. We're going to play this video. It's of the rapper, the baby, mm -hmm. at the airport. Um, let's just play it. Arizona, we on a motherfucking way. Everybody know we sold the fuck out and got down Arizona tonight. Everybody know them billion dollar baby. Hey, stop saying that, baby. Everybody know them billion dollar baby boys really having that shit. Huh? Get the socks, young nigga. Get the socks. Flip it over. Flip, uh, flip, 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 flip it over. Get the yes, socks. Uh, you know. Yes. Uh, you want to take a pic? Come on. Come on. I'll take one with you. You know, I ain't tripping today. I ain't tripping. I don't know your name. Having an ice. Huh? I don't know your name. I didn't ask if you knew my name. I was talking to the people right here. I didn't ask you. I keep, I keep telling you, you know. Look at this idiot, though, man. You, you know, you talking a little bit too much. Hey, yeah, come on, what's up with you? Uh, man, on, he's man. trying so man. hard. Yeah. Everybody know the billion dollar baby boy is really having that shit going on. Oh, huh? you can, you can turn oh my God, God dude. He's watching that. You done? Yeah, you don't watch yeah this I was done watching, watching it. it. I was done watching it from the beginning. Uh, it's very unfortunate because we've, well, not we, this culture has made it to the point where you have to show off ice, you have to show off money, you have to show your status, or or they think that somehow certifies you as being legitimate. Higher up um, on the hierarchy and they have, if you've they got have this taken, and that. Yeah, they have taken away from, honestly, what I feel is a true art form. Uh, we, we don't see too many people with actual bars, with yeah. actual That's concepts, with actual yeah. knowing what they're doing in those big studios that they're flexing all that money in. Yeah. And they don't know they don't know their left from their right. Why, that's why it, it, it's stuff like this. And I know there's probably a lot of people out there that like the baby because mm. I see a lot of people. I mean, even Eminem gave him respect and I don't understand uh, that. Well, I'll tell you but something that he said I after you make your point. I didn't watch the whole thing. He doesn't really mumble I'll tell you I'll tell you I'll tell you my point after but go ahead with uh, yours this this just is another thing is what are you doing you're going through the airport flaunting your money you know what I mean one you feel safe doing that because you're in an airport and you got two you feel you. safe doing that because you're surrounded by your security mm -hmm. and then you probably also have airport security around you but then aside from that you would probably be doing this out anywhere almost you know what I mean yeah. but it's like what what to me and maybe it just comes with how I grew up maybe it just comes with the state of mind that I'm in now that I'm I'm getting older and, and mm -hmm. older you know as time goes by you age you change things happen Happen, you know what I mean? What do they say like every six years you mentally you go, a, yeah. you go through a mental change. So I don't know. Maybe it's just whatever it is. But I don't see I don't see this and go, wow, look at him, he's doing so good. Wow, look at him, he's doing awesome. Wow, this is guy. This guy is cool. You know, I want to be like him. Probably younger kids do because they're you know easily impressed mm -hmm. and they're impressionable or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I look at this and I go, uh, this is just another bullet point to the circus that has become hip hop. How old is the baby? I don't know. Probably in his 20s. I don't know. I don't really care. But and I'm sorry, guys. We're so, not making this like super laughable no, no, and jokeable you, no, and funny you know what, like though? we usually are. No, yeah, it's actually, it's, it's honestly, it's, it's, it disarms it dis me, man. For one, for Let's one, all talk at the same time. For no, one, kidding, one no. Tim, is he stated, you want to know why I went platinum and all that? You, you want to know why I, I blew up like this? He said, people want to hear ignorant shit. So, see, he, but like, he himself is saying it. People want to hear <clears> ignorant stuff. Why do you think he said? Why do you think I got famous off of saying that? You know, so ridiculous so though. Like, Did you guys see? Uh, you know, Supreme. 
Ah, uh, yeah. So I know Supreme. I think I've owned one Supreme shirt, but I didn't buy it myself. Had... It was a gift. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a simple. It was a simple. It's not shirt. My I feel like most logo. people wearing the Supreme shirts are fake. Yeah, no, they sure. don't even know. No, half you mean of... the clothing now, like the actual Supreme yeah, stuff or Supreme whatever. Stuff. Yeah, like for instance, there, I was listening to the All Out show, Rude Jude, and yeah. he was saying that he was walking on the street and this dude passed by him with a Supreme shirt on, and it was I think it was a collaborative effort between Supreme and um, Rap a Lot Records. Okay, and. Jude made a comment to the guy. I'm kind of paraphrasing here. I don't remember his exact story, but I was listening to it yesterday, as a matter of fact. And he made a comment to the guy about the shirt. Mm -hmm. The dude didn't even know what he was wearing. Yeah, he didn't know who rap was. He just knew it was his Supreme shirt or sweater. You know what I mean? So you guys don't even know what you're doing. It's all all clout. I personally don't care for Supreme. I don't have any, like, hate towards them. Mm -hmm. But I do think that this thing that we're about to talk about is retarded. So they're making Supreme Oreos. All right. And I'll throw it up on the screen. It's a red Oreo. It's just, it's a regular, for the listeners, it is literally a red, uh, regular Oreo with red. It's the cookie is yeah. red. And, and they're the going stamp, for eight. And the stamp, it says Supreme. Yeah. And instead of, or instead of Oreos. Mm-hmm. Are they being made by Oreo company? Who's Oreo company? I'm it's not 100% Oreo. sure, but it is it's an still, Oreo cookie. It's still Oreo cookie. Uh, dude. I don't know if it's a 100% collaborative effort with Oreo. I would assume maybe so. I would, I it would, would think, have to be, I would right? Think because that of rights. Who of, owns of Oreo? Is it shit, Nabisco, right? Nestle? I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not even One of those either. companies, I would mm-hmm. come at them for a cease and desist. Cease and desist. Yeah. So the Supreme cookie is eight dollars uh-huh. for one. For one uh, cookie. Yeah. So there's been packs. It's a f- How much it's for a pack? Oreo, dude. Yeah. Well, you, you it's eight dollars for one cookie. Yeah. So I believe there's three rows, and I think it's like no, but they're 10. not doing it the same way that Oreo actually does it. Yeah. It is eight dollars for one cookie. No, I know, and but I'm thinking I, if you're trying to buy a pack like at eight dollars a piece, and yeah. what would be in a normal? Oh, count? oh yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't. They do have packs, I believe, but I don't. I don't know how many <laughs> so packs. The, but there are packs going on eBay, eBay for twenty three thousand uh, three hundred dollars. Yeah, twenty three three hundred. And yeah. the highest one that that you said that you saw because that you I brought saw. the sub was like as of this recording ninety two thousand on eBay. Fucking ridiculous! No, no, people are buying them and, and, reselling, and then them. reselling them on eBay for. It's, it's, how hype. Long ago, it's all uh, hype, you guys. It it's is gonna an expire. Oreo cookie. Yeah, it's gonna That's expire. What I mean. how long yeah. Ago, uh, a it's chef life it has. No, like, yes, it doesn't matter. It's, a, it's, a, it's food. But either either way, but just it's, to it's say retarded. Of, just to have the, the red cookie and the Supreme yeah. uh, logo on it, just yeah. go to wherever Oreos are sold. Well, they really, and there you, know, you go. Re- Supreme, <laughs> Supreme released a dirt bike that was actually from Honda. It was a Honda dirt bike, uh-huh. but because it had Supreme and the Supreme uh, fairings and logos and stuff like it that. It cost that much more, it, right? It cost like double, triple what it was. It's just ridiculous, just ridiculous, dude. Speaking of ridiculous stuff, oh yeah. Has anybody? I'm, do we have what? any I'm glad. boxing? You said, yeah, right? Yeah, I've loved. I love boxing. Do dude. we have any boxing fans that watch the show? I am. I again, like I've said before, if you guys mm-hmm. have watched previous episode, episodes, you know that I'm not. A, I'm not a big sports guy at all. Yeah. I'm familiar with certain things here and there. I do enjoy watching like UFC and mm-hmm. boxing if it's uh, people that I enjoy watching, yeah. like Conor McGregor and yeah. things like that. As much as I hate Floyd Mayweather, which there's some uh, interesting stuff I like stuff watching his fights Conor. because one day I hope that he just gets his ass handed to him um, <laughs> Deontay Wilder came out wearing a $40,000 entrance costume mm-hmm. that should have been cosplay yeah. did you guys right see there. this hey that's a good cosplay right there <laughs> right? a cosplay of a guy who makes excuses but let's yeah. go with the video <laughs> we're gonna play the video does it have any sound? Oh, I guess it doesn't have no. any sound. All right. Well. So basically, for the ones that are listening, and I'm pretty sure there a lot of people saw this and it's floating around the internet. Uh, it's up on the screen right he's now. He's wearing he's wearing you know his helmet. He has a crown. He has Mass. armor. Point is that uh he, he literally a, looks like he just came out of Skyrim. Skyrim. Like yeah, he does. Skyrims. Kind of like a king. Skyrims. Yeah. Like a dead king. So apparently, this thing cost forty thousand dollars, and I believe it weighed somewhere between like forty to fifty or upwards. Pounds? Yeah, so according to him, this is the reason why he according lost. To his coach, so that's I real believe, jewelry right? on her? No, that because that he, he yeah. came out and said it too. He came yeah. out and said, oh, my legs were shot and he never hurt me. It was just that my legs were so tired by the third round, he said. So by the seventh, I wasn't even feeling him. No, Honestly, he you, got he got, he got his, his ass, ass he yeah. got his ass. I just saw a him. comment that said uh, forty thousand dollars just to get his ass beat. <laughs> yeah, no, dude, it's 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 so stupid, man. I, I don't I don't understand it mm-hmm. because for one, I don't I don't care about the price tag. <laughs> Spend a hundred thousand. I dude. don't care about that. That's it, not the issue. Whatever. If you want to ball out on you, retarded things, you, do it. Wore that? You got that fitted? You put that on multiple yeah. times, and at no you point did that, you say this is too heavy. This is, this too, is heavy too heavy much. for me. You know why? Because all that people like him are thinking the same flash. thing. With some of these dumb rappers are flash. flashing. Let me walk out and flash out. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys something. All right, to normal people who have brains, we are not impressed. We're not no. impressed, dude. No. To people that came to see a boxing match, we're not impressed. Do you no. agree? 
Yeah. I'm not impressed. I came here to see you fight. I didn't yeah. come here to see you and flaunt the thing, and the $40,000 worth of Skyrim armor. Yeah, and the thing is, though, that Deontay Wilder, dude, he's extremely talented. He wouldn't have been where he was at without that. But I think too much of the antics and too much of the trying to sell fights got to him or or just in general. That's yeah. always how he's been throughout his career. But he's, he's yeah, yeah, but he's a strong, he's a strong dude. Like, he mm-hmm. has one-punch knockout power that would... Dude, the, our, their first fight, because this was their second fight. So the first time he fought Tyson Fury, it was like in the 12th round that he had laid him out, eyes rolled back, smacked to the canvas and everything. He Deontay? was out. Yeah, no, Deontay, Deontay knocked, knocked out yeah. knocked out Fury. He yeah. was fucking out. He got up before the count somehow and came back and outboxed him. That's just a testament to so him. So he's like a how, good fighter. No, he's 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 an amazing fighter. Just dude. made a really dumb he just choice has, to flash has, his money. Yeah, well, yeah. Let's, you let's guys know that going. movie uh, Parasite that won a bunch of awards? Yeah, no, the one that I haven't seen yet. Yeah, yeah but from yeah. Boon 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 Jung Ho or something like that, I believe, is the director. We, you were here when I we, heard about when we talked. You've heard no, about I, it. I, no, we've yeah. Yeah. I heard about the movie. But that's too. what I'm saying. You've heard about it, right? Yeah. yeah. And none of us have seen it, but it's coming to Hulu on yeah. April April 8th. So that's gonna be really cool. We don't, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna wait. Hulu. I'm on Hulu now, so I'm yeah. yeah I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna to wait. I'm stoked for it. I want to see it. I think it's a horror movie. It's a it's a is it I I don't I'm gonna say Asian because I don't I don't want to disrespect him. I don't know. No, he is. I don't know if he's the director. Yeah, but I'm saying I don't know if he's Chinese, Japanese. I don't know what his 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 ethnicity is. So I know I know he is Asian. Um, I believe it's all in Asian as well. So there's subtitles for those that don't understand, Mm -hmm. uh, which would be us. Well, I think that's one thing. That's when we had brought it up on one of the previous episodes was that people were complaining that that they didn't want to watch it because because it was was subtitles. Can you watch a movie with subtitles? Yeah. I could watch it if it's if it's, if it's a an language, interesting movie. If it's an interesting movie in a language that I clearly don't understand, like German, I'm not gonna know what the fuck they're saying if no. it's not in subtitles. If it's not in subtitles, yeah. I'm but if watch it's it. a good movie, good actors, mm-hmm. good plot, and everything, like why we not? we briefly spoke about, but I remember we didn't we didn't finish talking about it, which it's not a big deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah. It's an amazing movie. Okay. And yeah. for those that know that I, I do have a Hispanic background, but I don't fully understand everything. Mm-hmm. I only understand certain things. So it helped me when watching that movie, having the subtitles because yeah. I didn't understand everything. You didn't um, see that movie, huh? No, I didn't. I didn't see it, but I know oh, you got to watch it. I know absolute. I know what it was. Amazing, really, really phenomenal really movie. I don't know back then if it won any awards for anything, mm-hmm. but it, it should have because that is an amazing movie. So mm-hmm. Parasite's coming to Hulu April eighth, uh, and I'm I'm looking forward to it, dude. So, so I guess finally, the rest is here, right? Yeah, so I can finally figure out if it was worthy of all these awards or not. Mm-hmm. You know, okay. another thing, you guys ever watch uh, American Horror Story? Any of those I series? I briefly watched it. But no, I'm I'm not, I have not as of late to be. They're honest pretty with good, you. man. There's some like the first Didn't season. Didn't one of the clowns s- die from them or something like that? I think in, we talked about in real it, life. Right? Yeah, like I one of the clowns in real know. life died. I think we had a. I don't remember. Man, we had talked about it before. I don't remember. Though. But season one, season two, season three are good. Mm-hmm. Uh, then there's like the middle seasons. To me, in my opinion, kind of uh, out. yeah, kind of wasn't that good. I couldn't get through them. But then Is there's this like on Netflix. Or there's something? they're on Netflix now. Yeah. So and you don't have well. You don't have to watch them in, in order of season, but I will tell you when you get to season, I don't remember what the number, but mm. I believe it's called Cult. Mm-hmm. I thought it changed every year. It does. It changes every year. Like, but Cult actually brings season one, two, and three together. together? Yeah. So, so like yeah. way later. It's like season so it's a whole different eight, family? eight or How nine or something. Never... Yeah. It's I'll, like, I'll, I'll I don't want to spoil it, though, it for man. you. One, no, the, the first season's it. about a murder house, and it's actually, we, we can actually take a drive out there if you guys want. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I'm not to, It's like deep in L.A. somewhere <laughs> yeah, where I'll they filmed it. I'm down. I'll wait in the I've car. been there before. And then uh, the second season is about, there's probably somebody watching it right now that's yelling it at, like, it's fucking, it's saying it's that. I can't <laughs> remember what it is, the second season. Yeah, yeah. But there's one about, like, the murder house, uh, one about an insane asylum, and then one about, like, witches. And I think that I believe I don't remember the order, but I believe that's one, two, and three. Season one, two, and three, and then later, way down the line, they do a, a season called Cult, and it brings those three together in one yeah. season. I'm gonna have to and check it's it out, amazing, dude. dude. Cult's sounds, amazing. It brings the witches together. It brings demons together. Yeah. Hell, it's actually really, really well done. What season is that? I don't know. It's like eight or nine, maybe. Damn, there's a lot, yeah. I'm a, there's a lot of catching but, up. But, how many episodes order, a season? There's season. There's nine seasons. The tenth season is going to be coming soon. But how many episodes is, in one season? Oh, I don't know. There's a decent amount, though. But they're worth watching. Like I said, the mm-hmm. first, second, and third are definitely worth watching. You can pick and see if you I'll like probably, any I'll other ones. Start watching that tonight. But definitely watch one, two, and three, and then go watch Colt. And it's really good. In yeah. between is, is, is give or take. But speaking of that, season 10, which okay. is coming up. Macaulay Culkin, Culkin, dude. Yeah. Macaulay Culkin's coming back. And I'm super stoked yeah. for that, man. I, I always liked looks, Macaulay Culkin and I felt bad look, for him. Yeah, he still looks all spun out, man. No, but he's doing really yeah, good. He, he did a couple stuff on, on YouTube, a couple things on YouTube. Yeah. If you guys look at that, he's he, he, you know he's, he's doing, doing better. He's also, did you guys watch him on Joe Rogan? 
Yeah, he no. was, I mean, was no. like a while back. He's not I as crazy him, as people make him out to be. No, I mean, I think it was the that, drugs. No, man, well, yeah. You know? honestly, the drugs make anybody honest, different. Yeah. Dude. yeah. Because, come on, we're doing the same thing with Jim Carrey, too, though, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, he's Jim Carrey's not, nuts. He's, not, he's this, he's, he's not. that. No, he's, he's just on a different level of yes. thinking. And, and because of that, he was he's labeled as crazy. Yeah. Disney CEO Bob Iger is stepping down effective immediately. And Bob Chapek, Chapek, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, is going to be taking his place. Uh, so you know, Bob for Bob. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty big news though. It is. It, it kind of caught we, everybody off we guard. We were talking about it in, a, yeah. in in the, in the DMs, but I actually did a little bit more research, and I don't remember everything right now. So forgive mm-hmm. me. But Bob Iger actually has. You were a little bit more right. He has been talking about stepping down for a long time now, like a couple years. Well, I think, stay executive. I think, um, yeah, he's been wanting to, and yeah. he actually we we were thinking that you know oh you just stepped down with no no notice. Um, there was a, a notice. He yeah, did. Yeah. He 2021 did. was supposed to be his last year of the contract. Yes, he actually 20, extended it. Mm-hmm. 2021, he's going to be completely stepping down, but he is no longer CEO effective immediately. I so think he's still a, a part of the, the Disney company. I, think I he's still gonna, I think he's still going to be on the board, though, right? He's he still is. He's be like director decisions. or yeah. creative something. Yeah. I remember reading it, but I, I again, forgive me, I don't remember the exact thing, but he is still involved in Disney and somehow, but he's no longer the CEO. But this is big news for people that don't know. Like, Bob Iger was a lot. If you don't know, watch the Imagineering story on D plus and it'll kind of really good. Which really I started good. watching. Yeah, you um, never really, finished really it? Good. It's like, nah, four, it's like nah, four episodes, dude. Yeah, it's like six. Six? Yeah, yeah those. It's like six but, uh, hours. So, like always, this week's cosplay of, of the week, week is actually Star Lord. And uh, the guy's Instagram is Dom Charlin. Sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. This particular photo was uh, at the New York Comic Con. Oh, yeah. No, sick. It yeah. literally looks like Star Lord. I mean, there's really not much to be said yeah. because it's, it's pretty dope, though. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. accurate. It looks, yeah. it looks like it's really Star-Lord. accurate. Yeah. Is that Chris Pratt? No, I'm just kidding. Nah. <laughs> this guy. No, I know. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh. So, shout out to Dom Dom Charlin for Dom your Star Lord adaptation. Adaptation. Uh, your cosplay. You did a wonderful, wonderful job, wonderful job man. Yeah, man. And uh, and and you guys go follow him because he looks exactly like what Star Lord looks like. Yeah. Since we have Roger here today, we are going to do a another little cosplay. side quick cosplay yeah, of the, the week. week. A second little shout out, and so that shout out goes the, out to the Instagram tag is Martinez seventeen oh one a. So Roger was telling us this is uh, the guy's wife and the child Their or child. whatever. So it's Predator, Super Predator, and Berserker Predator. So he's obviously the berserker predator one yep. and then it just you know it goes from there i think it's yeah, really, really dope, cool man, man. Yeah, that's like awesome a whole family that's yeah. what i was gonna say it's awesome that you could do like the whole family getting involved it's really cool like we've said it before it's cool when we see couples do that yeah. you know it's yeah. great when you see families do it you know even just friends getting together it's awesome mm-hmm. when it, just like us getting together for this podcast it's yeah. awesome when you have things that similar interests that bring everybody together yeah, yeah tom holland well, came out and uh back when sony was going to transition spider-man out of the mcu mm-hmm. tom holland said i quote the future of Spider-Man was still very bright with Sony. We had a really, really wonderful idea of how we could sort of transition into a Spider-Man without the MCU. Mm. But that said, I'm really glad to be back. Which I, you so know what? We, I'm kind of excited for well, that. Well, kind of like, has to say that, That, that could have gone yeah. either. Yeah, yeah, because he's kind back of. with this. Well, yeah. he was very outspoken he about very, it. When it initially, yeah. when the news dropped, yeah. he was very outspoken about it. Yeah, so. he called out. But I think that's I think that's awesome. You know what I mean? I, I'm glad to hear that at least if, if he it's was, true, if he's not just saying yeah. it under contract, if it's true, if they had like an amazing way to, to transition him out, I'm assuming... I, my assumption is probably like some multiverse thing or something, you know. Yeah. Um, um, that's he would, great. He would have to fight, obviously, Venom. Yeah. And but all again, that, but like he said, with that oh. being said, I'm glad to be back and I'm glad you're back as well. Yeah, we here's, all love Tom Holland. Here's something man. that I don't like, man. Me and Julio were talking about this before. I don't, I don't know if you heard about this. So some new news has come out, and I found this via Devil of Marvel on Instagram, but he gives source credit to Variety. The Secret First Captain America, the series will be... Oh, wait, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't set it up. This is this is about Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Okay. This is about Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So, and and then what it, goes, it says is... The series will be about Falcon initially refusing to take up the mantle of Captain America, but ultimately changing his mind after discovering the secret history of the Super Soldier by encountering Bradley, who was actually the original, in quotes, Captain America. So this is wrong, though. Mm. I mean, that's not how it happened in the comics. Mm. And I'm not going to act like I know every little thing, but I mm. do know that this is wrong. It, there was, yeah. The original Captain America is Steve Rogers. Yeah. It's Captain America. Yeah. And if they're going to do this, and, and if this is true, 
This so uh, he took the serum before Captain America. Is that that's I, apparently and that's what this. Seems that's what they're saying because he's imply. the he's the original yeah. uh, one. And so I have some comments here that I, I want to read because they expressed it just about the same way that I would, yeah. but even better. So this comment comes from S. Um, sorry, this comment comes from M. Dot Sassano Sassano Sassano. Uh-huh. Sassano. Uh-huh. So I understand that this is a comic ac- that this is comic accurate, but I actually don't think it's a good idea. By referring to Bradley as the original Captain America, in a way, you're kind of cheapening the story and legacy of Steve, Ro- Steve Rogers in the MCU. Almost like how the government is trying to pass U.S. agent off as the new Captain America. Mm. Nobody wants to accept that, right? I think it's enough that the shield has been passed down to Sam Wilson as the new Cap. The only legitimate mm. original Captain America is an always will be Steve Rogers, no matter how much retconning they do, just like how we'll never accept U.S. agent as the new Captain America, only, only Falcon. Falcon. And I, I think this guy is completely right. And then another person commented below, C Betty underscore 23, um, Isaiah Bradley is an alternate version of Captain America, not, not the, the OG, OG cap. cap. The OG Cap is still still Steve Rogers. Bradley's character is based off of Steve Steve's character and he was written and created in 2003. Amazing mm-hmm. information here. Mm-hmm. But his era was also during World, World War, II, War II, but as an alternate version. So, I mean, like that alternate kinda, universe? Yeah, you know how you know how they do it in comics. There's always yeah. alternate universes and, and, and versions and, and everything, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, if the MCU is going to do that, I mm-hmm. agree with these comments. I, I don't like that. Don't do that. Yeah, don't either. change it up. Don't try to yeah. retcon things because it's true. The number one problem that I have with this before anybody tries to say it's about race or anything, mm-hmm. it's not about race. Well, we didn't it's even about, bring that up. But no, yeah. no, no. But, but yeah. I'm, I'm saying it because mm-hmm. when I looked in the comments, there was a lot of going back and forth about race and yeah. I don't care about that. What, I'm, what I care about is exactly what the comments said. You're cheapening the legacy of the last, what, 11 years? Yeah. Of, of what Cap has done throughout the MCU. And then you're also we making... Have, we have a lot of the, uh, you know, the, the Avengers and everything because of Cap. He yeah. was the first you're, Avenger. You're, exactly. That's what I was going to say. Captain America, the first Avenger, the first Iron movie. Man you're, well, Iron, Iron Man was the start. But I'm saying for Captain Tying America, together, Captain, yeah, the, first, wise, yeah, the first the Avenger movie. movie, the movie, I'm saying, mm-hmm. you're, you're kind of ruining that whole point of that movie if you're just going to come out 11 years later and say, ah, just kidding. This guy was actually the first Captain America. We just never talked yeah. about it until 11 years multiverse now. Multiverse type of thing. I mean, it could work. Something no. really cool that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I think this is awesome, especially with the world that we live in where there's a lot of microtransactions. And everybody knows mm-hmm. how I feel about microtransactions. Mm-hmm. If you haven't, go watch old episode. I think it was episode three. Yeah. Where I got really well, we brought it up a number deep of down and dirty about uh, microtransactions. So the Cyberpunk developers released a statement recently saying that if you purchase their game on Xbox One, mm-hmm. you're going to get it for free on Xbox Series X. Okay, and they dope. made a statement saying gamers should never be forced to purchase the same game twice or pay for upgrades. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you don't hear oh. nobody say that no, no more. No, man. Uh, eyes to Bethesda. How many times have they put out Skyrim? Oh my God! Like every console, yeah. every every generation, yeah, PCs. And graphics. I'm surprised it's not on phones. Maybe it is. I don't even know. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to constantly buy it, and then they put out like limited editions, the the special edition, the HD edition, yeah, whatever the hell it's called. Skin, we were talking about that. Well, I got a special skin, a special character. I bought I bought Skyrim. Skyrim three times. Skyrim. Skyrim. <laughs> Actually, no, I bought it twice because the first time I got Skyrim, it was gifted to me, okay. but. So I bought it twice. And you bought it twice. That's and then right. I bought it two times after that. Once for my P. Oh my God, no, dude. I did no, too. three times. I, am I bought right. it twice. I The first time I played Skyrim, it was gifted to me. The second time I bought it on console. Then the third time I bought it on my PC. And then when the uh, special edition or whatever it was called, the remaster was the HD version. Again, I, I'm, forgive me. I, I'm missing up the name. I bought it. I bought it on my PC for that version as, again as well. So, I mean, I'm a victim of it. Yeah. I do it, but I don't appreciate it. I don't yeah. like it. That kind of sucks. But then I also get it from a business standpoint, but not to do it that many times. No, nah, yeah. Not that many times. No, nah, so maybe maybe if people start standing out like this, you know, they, yeah. if they have success with what this, it's gonna What do. it's going to take for people to make a change in the gaming industry for, for this kind of uh, subject, this topic, is the developers. Exactly what the developers at Cyberpunk are What's the, the Cyberpunk name of the new console from Xbox again? Xbox Series X. Series well, X. I think every uh, single game from Xbox is going to be uh, playable on their new yeah. console. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so. I believe at launch you'll so be from able Xbox to. One, you know, we you know. we discussed it before on the episode with yeah. with uh, Jar of Retro. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think it was a one hundred percent confirmed. No, it's confirmed. But I already. believe now it is yeah, confirmed. It's confirmed. At launch, it's it good. every every console will be yeah. backwards compatible. Xbox the original. Yeah, so you'll be able Xbox to play Xbox 360 and Xbox One. I mean, it'll probably run a little funny with depending on the no, graphics and all that. No. Right? Microsoft. That, it'll run fine. 
Everything okay. will be 100% Fuck backwards compatible. Compatible. I don't know if it's disc compatible. I believe, don't quote me on it, that it's only digital, though. Mm. I don't think it's physical. How are you going to be able to prove your purchase, though? I'm sure they'll have some sort of way. Yeah, like your yeah. data, I'm pretty sure. I'm yeah. pretty sure Everything's going to transfer probably, over, too. Everything transfers over via your gamer tag. Yeah. yeah. Which, which was uh, really dope, actually. Uh, I was i guess kind of ignorant to the whole thing there's cross playing uh with the uh, activision so they're doing the for, specifically for call of duty i'm able to play with people on pc is that confirmed yeah. did you confirm that no yeah because i have I, because okay. i don't play COD, so I don't like I've, you could do I've that had, now I've, yeah, or, you well, yeah do i thought now, i yeah. thought was so okay. able to do that. i know because i've okay. been ignorant to that fact but, I but it's only with xbox on, i believe no because that? no there's my uh my friend one of my friends brought it up to me and then he showed me how to do it through youtube and all that it's a special way you got to tag them but He's on PS4 or he's on PlayStation and I'm on Xbox. And then he's like, "Yo, crossplay, don't be, look." It says right there. Call of Duty Modern Warfare will let PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One players battle each other in multiplayer combat. Combat. Mm-hmm. The big benefit is that players will be able to play with their friends on all three supported platforms. Players have the mm-hmm. option That's to opt cool. in, opt in, or opt out for crossplay. For crossplay, this started September 17th. If if this article yeah. is correct, 2019. So yeah, dude, it's really dope. I didn't hear much buzz about that. Yeah, me either. Yeah. Which I'm surprised they didn't, but I think it's because it was just uh, specifically for like yeah. Call of Duty and all that when it came out. So we're going to be at WonderCon. We're going to some, co- some conventions. I know WonderCon is making me kind of doubt, <laughs> doubt I know, it, man. Yeah, I know. It's making me a little worried. I know WonderCon isn't like a, a big gaming convention, but we are trying to and hopefully going to be at E3 and uh, BlizzCon and a couple other ones. Mm-hmm. But BlizzCon a lot for sure. Of, a lot, yeah, BlizzCon definitely uh, for sure. That's if, our goal. if we can get the tickets, yeah, that's, yeah, that's our, our goal. goal. If, if we can. Uh, it, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, uh, the, a lot of developers are opting out of a lot mm. of conventions. Um, Sony has opted out of yeah, so E3. This, yeah, so and run by all of them. these developers that we're going to list off right now are opting out of GDC. There's Sony and there's Microsoft, there's Oculus, there's EA, there's Epic Games, there's Kojima Productions, there's Unity. Unity, I don't, Oculus. I, that's Oculus. It's Oculus. Yeah. And Unity. They're all opting, opting out, out of, of GDC, GDC. Um, because of the coronavirus. They've all stated that is because of the coronavirus. Um, mm. They don't want to put, and I understand it coming from a, a business uh, standpoint, they don't want to put their employees' health at risk. I still th- think you're over-exaggerating, in, in my opinion. Right now, there's 322 cases of coronavirus but in, what about in, in, America? In, in Italy. The entire country is on lockdown. This was mm-hmm. released yesterday. Yeah, that, I know. Well, you saw what China started doing, right? They started welding the, some of the apartment yeah. buildings down. Yeah, dude. that's a little... That's yeah, true. dude, but, but it's, it's not the way to go about it. You got to do yeah. quarantine, not just, you know, yeah. make people well, suffer. They're, they're, they're but, like, you're not getting out type of shit. But I mean, hey, I don't know. Do, do what you want to do, you know, because I am a little worried about going to WonderCon. I'm not going to lie because people fly in from all over the country and all it takes is one person. Mm-hmm. That's all it takes, man. I mean, that you goes know, for anything. Know, oh, actually, what not was just it? the coronavirus. Well, that goes well, for there's anything. only been one case uh, here in America, right? No, I think there's no, been a couple. Dude, there's been more than one. No, that's a, On the yeah. Inland Empire. Yeah, all over the Inland Empire. Ontario, Riverside. Uh, there was one guy who flew into John Wayne right here. There my, was one in That's Orange in my County, backyard, that man. Sure. That's yeah. the one flew yeah. into John Wayne. Uh, and then there's been a couple out in the L.A. area, I believe, too. Yeah, and then there was a whole thing where uh, they were trying to fly uh, some people that were over there in Wuhan into Ontario. And I believe Ontario or the city, I'm not sure exactly who protested it. But Ontario, ended, Canada or Ontario, California? Uh, California, but they oh. ended up redirecting them to the San Bernardino, I think. Yeah, I remember yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, dude, come Crazy on, dude. Story. Then there, there was a cruise line. There was multiple cruise lines that were stopped because they had people that yeah, had that's made sick. contact or whatever. Were they stuck out there yeah. in the ocean or something? No, no, no. They, just no, they, let, the they let, let them dock. dock. Oh, and from God. there, they were, they were quarantine. quarantining or, or checking them through there and then... Obviously, closing off kind of makes Italy works you know pretty what, crazy. I, the one, so yeah. it's it's kind of a unique thing though because I actually, you know, so I work at a hospital. I'm not gonna say which one, mm-hmm. but uh, you know, I was talking to some of the EMT techs and R- RNs and stuff like that. So I'm not sure exactly how accurate it is, but so you don't show any kind of symptoms for up to two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, it could be right. anywhere between two to fourteen days. Two to fourteen before days before you show that's, any symptoms that's at all. Fucking nuts, because that means I could get screened on on day five. And, and then and be told you're five, fine. six days yeah. later, I'm, I'm a habit. You yeah. know, it's, so, but it's, it's just, nuts, it's dude. just worries me now because like, say we go to WonderCon and somebody just has a regular cold and we, we get it, dude, I'm gonna be freaking out. Yeah. You should be man. fine though, dude. So, uh, just to everybody out there, whether coronavirus flus or anything, if you're at WonderCon, please, for Stay our home. sake, 
Stay you know, home. Stay home. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> Bring hand sanitizer. Wash your hands. Be yeah. uh, be cautious. Be be courteous to everybody, and don't spread your germs. We're gonna wrap this episode up. We thank you guys for tuning in, like we always do. Roger, we'll give the guests the first uh, first go. Uh, let everybody know where they can find you, man. Uh, you can find me on IG with uh, double R and Roger, dot seventeen. Boom, boom. He sounds so excited yeah. for that. Yeah, so it's Roger, two R's at the end, dot 17. And of course, none other than the great man himself, the pistols guy. I am a Captain underscore Juicebox, and you are? And you can find my tired ass at IG hates Chazzy. <laughs> and if you're looking for us as a whole, you can find us at the Side, Side Project, Project Podcast. Podcast on Instagram, Side Project Pod on Twitter. Twitter. And uh, we like always, man, like I said uh, just a few seconds ago, we thank you guys for tuning in. We thank you guys for liking, for sharing, yeah, oh, for commenting. So we got some exciting, 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 exciting news. news. We got some things in the works uh, with uh, Beyond Rail that yeah. we're going to be getting into. But you guys follow once we get all the Beyond details, Rail Cosplay. We're going to be doing a collaborative giveaway with him. As we well will be, as his, uh, his other page too, though. Beyond, Beyond Rail, Rail props, props. And um, we're going to do a collaborative giveaway with him. We'll be releasing all the details soon, but stay tuned. Mm -hmm. So like I said, thank you guys uh, for subscribing, for liking, for commenting, for sharing. We're on all Apple. We are on all streaming services, <laughs> Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, Jesus all that Stitcher, stuff. All that We've said stuff. it so many times. You guys know we appreciate you. I'm so sorry I'm not enthusiastic. I am dying over here. I am. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs>